just because I'm black man in America, that's what gives them permission to treat us terrible. Was that, a, was that inspired by a real situation? All right. Typical day, bro, like, um, I was at home. I decided to go to my old neighborhood because that's where a lot of my relatives live. My family members, my friends that I went to school with, they parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just because I made it out the hood, just because I made it out of poverty, that don't mean everybody that I love made it out. No, like, I'm, I'm only one person. My family, I still got my whole family, all of my friends and all of their family, they still there. So I go there a lot because these are my people. You know what I mean? So with me being me, it's, it's, it's like I get hounded just for even going back to my old neighborhood, my old stomping grounds, like like my like places that where, where the people stay that I love the most. Because like this is what happened. I get out of my car. I, just, I, got, I was in the Lamborghini. I got in my Lamborghini truck. Drove to South Memphis. Bro, I, 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 bro, my grandma grave. I wasn't in the neighborhood two minutes. Mm. Bro, I pulled up. I'm at a stop sign. I'm sitting at the stop sign. A car came and turned on the street where I was on and rolled past me. And like two police cars whipped up right behind him, following him, pulling them over. So then when I'm looking at them, I was finna turn. And I see the third police car coming behind him, finna turn behind him. But when I mm. made the right, that third police car seen me and she got behind me, dog. They left the, the car that they was on, they was pulling yeah. over, they left the car alone, bro. They came and got on me like, bro, I'm sitting at the stop sign, just looking at them like, damn, what that car do? Like, what they meant? Like, like what happened? Yeah. So I'm sitting at the stop sign, I'm on the brake. So I get off the brake, get on the gas, I, Gonna turn. Well, they getting behind me. Rip, 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 rip. Like, God damn. You mm. know what I'm saying? Right in front of a, a daycare. Hey. Right in front of a daycare. So, bro, the car was behind me. Then another car came from the other two first cars. One of them came and cut me off and got in front of me, bro, like trying to make me run into the back of them. Hey. So, I'm like, damn, what the hell? And the police car that pulled me over, it was a female. I'm like, what's going on? Like, they like, oh, um, what the hell they said? Bro, they didn't even have a real reason to pull, pull me over, bro. But they pulled me over, they got me out the car, they instantly searching the car, searching the car, searching the car. What the fuck, why, 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 why are you searching the car? I feel you, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't feel you. Yeah. Why is you searching my car? Oh, one of the officers come, you know, shit, once after so many of the police car pulled up, now it's about 10 officers on the scene. So a lot of them know exactly who I am. Oh, this dog, mm -hmm. oh, this dog, oh, this, oh, man, what's going on? They looking at my truck. You know, they officers and regular people, too. They want to check the truck out. But this lady that pulled me over, once she see that, damn, he's straight, damn, they know who he is. Oh, he a legitimate yeah. good guy. This yeah. He run a bitch just because... I'm young, I'm black, and I live in America. That's what get on permission to just treat me terrible, bro, whenever. Like, I've been saying this, bro, since forever, bro, since for years. I always tell my partners and friends, everybody, like, bro, the police do what they want to do. I don't want to hear that shit talking about, bro, put your seatbelt on, do this, or, oh, they can't mess with you if you got your seatbelt on. They can't mess with you if you're going to speed limit. They can't mess with you if you stop when you need to stop, go when you need to go. Bro, they do whatever they want to do, bro. I don't know, bro. It's just, it's everyday life for us, man. That's what we go through as a people. Like, shit, like, the other people outside our race, they don't know what it feel like to go through this. They don't go through this, so they don't even get it. What do you, let me ask you this, man. What do you think can be done, man? Are you like, because my, my whole thing is, we got to get old boy out of the office. That's my whole thing. Are you inspiring people to vote? Like, what do you think is the next the next step? Man, it's bigger than voting. We need to like we need to step up on that. You gotta vote and you gotta try to get into office who we want in the office, but man, it's really within our community, it's in our communities and within each other. Like we gotta stand for something. 
and we got to be together. The more unified we get as a whole, as a people, then we'll be unstoppable. Then we'll be able to get what we want. Then we'll be able to like to demand certain things because they know if they know they can't play with you, they ain't gonna play with you. But yeah, you know. We fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we fighting amongst each other, and we trying to we trying to shake back. It ain't easy because, bro, it was set up like this. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? From a long time ago. So it ain't all our fault because we still trying to play makeup. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, we was just we just dealing with what, what we was given. So we trying to make out a situation, and then on top of that, we trying to get it together. It's like we just got a lot on our plate, bro, and we trying to handle it. You know what I mean? So. We just got to do what we got to do. We got to focus on us. Keep it 100. Like, we got to focus on us. Breaking down